Hello everybody out there. I would like to take the time on this beautiful day to invite you all on a journey to leave humanity behind. I'm W. Whitlock Fitness and this is my story. Hey guys! Doing some warm-ups here at my apartment before I leave to go to the gym to hit some legs today. Um, usually I'll do these kind of like dynamic or slash stretching warm-ups as much as I can before I actually go to the gym because for one thing, once I step into the gym, I kind of get into the ma mindset that I really want to go in and fuck some shit up. So once I'm in the gym, I want to get get moving on that as soon as possible but another big reason is because my apartment floor is carpeted and the gym floor is hard and it's very hard on my, my knees so I like I like my knees nice and soft and comfortable whenever I'm on my knees full homo so um, before I did I don't even know what those previous things are called but these are called cat camels and then they really help to kind of floss and loosen up the lower back. And then these are fire hydrant dog piss things. They, they again, they warm up the lower back, hips, glutes area. Um, so I, I've been doing those for years. They, they are a very effective hip kind of warm up thing. Um, as long as I remember to actually do them, which luckily I did today, and they came in handy, as you'll see later. Whenever I bust out all kinds of reps on my squats. But again, um, really like to just get as much warming up done as possible at home. And then I did some, a um, little bit of adductor stretching there. As if I'm slowly making some sweet love to the, the air. And then I keep staring sensually into the camera so my viewers can get a taste of what I have to offer. About that time again with another video for you guys doing some squats here today's AMRAP managed to hit 380 for 11 with these um, everything went pretty smoothly and I have been dealing with um, a very irritating knee issue on my right knee um, the top of the I think it's the patellar tendon still uh, just the top of that kneecap there. I actually should have filmed my very first warm-up set with the bar because um, it was painful and I was uh, very slow on the ascent even just with 45 pounds but uh, that's usually how knee issues go with me. Um, the more I warm up and everything the more it, it starts to start working uh, but basically I've been applying DMSO on that area two to three times a day spacing it out about about six hours or so apart and for those of you who do not know what DMSO is it's a very effective anti-inflammatory when rubbed uh, topically on the area and it is also a very effective solvent for um, all types of pharmaceutical drugs 
But that is a topic for another day. Hugh, Hugh. Um, you can see I'm really getting into this one. Digging in deep as a motherfucker. Getting that last rep in. Trying not to collapse from my low back pump. But that was some good squats there. And I was happy with that because three days ago I only hit 375 or 10. Then moved on to some Romanian deadlifts. And I don't know if you can see in the video, you can notice I have some one pound micro plates going on there. Size so 277 pounds for three sets of eight. Um, Cause I didn't really feel like progressing a full five pounds for those. So I threw on the micro, plate, the micro plates, which I just have laying around my bag, um, which came in handy. And you'll see I also use them on the, the calf raises later, but here we did leg press, two sets of eight. This was 650 pounds. And again, I'm just really trying to stretch it deep. Knees kind of bothering me on these, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad enough for me to stop doing them. So I'm just gonna keep hitting the DMSO and got a full body deep tissue massage scheduled Friday, two days from now for uh, two hours, two full hours with my man Charles from uh, uh, Mount Carmel Fitness. So you guys check him out if you are in the Columbus area. And there you saw me throwing on the one pound micro plates for doing some calf raises. It's all about that progression, guys. Still trying to hit uh, five, five sets of 12 with these calf raises, increasing the weight a total two pounds from last time. So still got those making the progression a little easier making it a little bit more possible but you know how i do these calf raises i stretch it deep at the bottom get that full contraction at the top nice and slow slow and easy just how she likes it and then i finish up with some um, weighted rope pull down standing sit-ups whatever the fuck you call them um did the whole stack on these so just trying to Trying to get that that core strength, get those core strength gains in, so I can brace as tight as I can whenever I squat. I got your kitty. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't you walk away from me? Oh, um, let me try and retain my attention span long enough to get this video out. But just got done doing legs at the gym today. Everything went well. But I want to address this topic um, that's been on YouTube recently of Mark Lobliner basically discussing his hormone use um, up until uh, from last year basically up until now um, basically now he's getting HRT done and everything so it's all official but he said that he was due to random drug testing all of last year he was completely clean clean I don't know why I said it's clean but up until um, his first pro show that he did, what, six months ago or whatever. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my God, stop fucking lying. Or maybe he just started doing his feeder workouts and threw in some special K. Could be that also. So for all you little bitches out there who complain about not being able to eat enough and shit, um, let me give you a quick tip right here. I've been I'm not having much of an appetite over the last few days, so here's what I'm doing. I'm just going to have about two servings. Of this. this is post-workout, post by the way. I have two servings of this, some Briars Blast Reese's. Not too bad on the taste, but I do like the, what's it called? The one with the... Uh, the one with the Oreos, something, I think it's Blast or some shit, uh, better, it tastes a lot better, but I got this, it's nice peanut buttery flavor. So I'm going to have two servings of that, let me hit the macros, two servings of that is going to be 12 grams of fat, 52 grams of carbs, and even 6 grams of protein, and I just popped this open, one of these egg white things from Costco, you get a case of like 6 of them um, at Costco. Uh, so I'm going to just drink this whole thing, that's 50 grams of protein right there with two scoops of this and then I can down that in like three minutes and look at all the macros I just hit. So again guys, no excuses, there's no fucking excuse for being a little bitch and not hitting enough macros. Don't give me that shit about, ooh I can't eat, I have no appetite. Shut the hell up and eat some good damn tasting food once in a while. And maybe you'll change your attitude. Hey Dalton, so you think you can compete 
So you think you can bring your your little Camaro over here and compete with my WRAR XD? Well, let's see about that big boy. Let's see, let's see if you know just what it is that you are getting yourself into, my boy. Let's see if you've got what it takes to compete against my baby, the WRAR XD, okay? Fuck with me, boy.